Hello, folks. So I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, vocals today and uh, recording what I use and uh, maybe some different techniques. So uh, let's start off here. Uh, I'm going to talk about placement of uh, your microphone when you're recording uh, your tracks uh, in this room now because I have cymbals on the drums and a lot of guitars, especially acoustic guitars in the room. There will be like a singing noise here in the room, as you can hear. Hey! Hey! It almost sounds like a reverb. So what you want to do is get, if you want to get a tight recording, you need to record in a really muffled environment. So you can record in your uh, closet with a lot of clothes or just put up some mattresses or anything to, to tighten up the sound. I use uh, this from Awesome Microphones. Can you see this? Let's see here. So it's a reflection shield, I think it's called. So you can hear the difference from hey, 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 hey. So this uh, really tightens up the sound. So it also depends on which mic you're using. Uh, now I'm using my new WA87 from Warm Audio, which is a really high-end mic and it gets a lot of details. So with this sort of mic, you will want to be sure to just get it muffled. But this mic you can use for anything, like overhead mics for your drums or acoustic guitars or just getting really a detailed voice. I also use this a lot, the SM7B which is a more tight microphone. I don't know how to explain it, but uh, yeah, this also works. So talking uh, effects that I use on my voice, I generally just record the voice completely clean with no effects when I'm recording. But afterwards, I like to use a compressor that really gets your voice in front. So here you can hear the difference between no compressor and compressor on. Check, 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 check. So compressor you have in every DAW you you have. So yeah, just search it up and uh, you'll find it. I also generally like to use uh, a little bit of uh, distortion, especially on screaming vocals. Not too much, just a little bit to almost break it up or just on the edge of breaking up. So here you can hear with compression and uh, distortion on first without. Check, check, check! Check, check, check! Yeah, so for me, that's an aggressive vocal technique. So for you people who's been following me, uh, you know that I use also like this kind of telephone effect. So there's actually, three ways to, to get this effect. Uh, the first one, you can use uh, a megaphone, which sounds like this. Hey, check, check, check. This is kind of broken now, you can hear the sound. That's not good. But uh, yeah, it sounds pretty good in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if you record with this, you have no option afterwards to tweak the sound, it's the sound you get. I generally use the telephone effect from uh, the EC mix package from TuneTrack because it's just easy to slap it on and you can just adjust uh, the level of uh, effect you want. And uh, the third way, you can just do it in uh, uh, EQ plugin. Just put the EQ like this, cut all the bass and all the high end and just up with the middle frequency and boom, you got a telephone effect. So I've been talking about this before also. It's very important when you're uh, tracking vocals or just <laughs> singing live in general that you're really uh, meaning what you're singing. Like you put your whole body in it and you just get that, yeah, instead of yeah, yeah, yeah. And you need to make the face like yeah. So yeah. I have another video where I talk about some uh, different uh, techniques I'm using and uh, all this good stuff. So I'll link that up somewhere in, in here. But yeah, uh, I think it's hard to teach techniques for me. But uh, my, my advice to you is just find a voice that works for you and just try to rehearse that. I've spent uh, 20 years now maybe singing and I'm still discovering small little nuances in my 
both clean singing and uh, screaming. So yeah, just try to make your own own way and uh, go for it. All right, that's it. Just a small video on mics and uh, vocals. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, comment in the video description and I'll maybe answer it in a later video. See you later.